don't think we've got a clue to be quite honest, but uh, it looks very well. But this man, Peter Wright, there's no question he's dominated the scoring in this game. I know he's won both sets 3 2. But um, Joe Callum, Callum has been hanging on to his shirt tails. He's got top of that 21 scores are between 100 and 139 and this will be another one of those 39 big scoring heavy scoring complete domination on the score and as we we'll see there especially the 10 140s to four the difference of six that's, that's three legs just there and again Joe Cullen a long way off when Peter Wright, you know, he's not forcing Wright having to go with the bullseye there and not forcing and missing. It's been very easy for Peter Wright at the moment. 95. Did you require? Top set. We've got in a pickle in this before, not this time though. That's why there was a little nod because he knew last time he went inside 20, inside 10, and inside 5. Two legs away, Rod. From a place in the second round. 99. Yeah, I think young Joe, at the moment, is going to be disappointed with his performance. And sometimes when you're a, a youngster and on that big stage, especially this big stage, sometimes you don't know how to turn it round. You know, as Peter Wright hits his third maximum. And this is where the experience comes in on how to find the format and turn it around. And certainly, Joe, 45. he is a star of the future if he keeps going. You can't buy experience. No. You can only win it. He's only 24, still Joe Cullen, world ranked number 36 now. His next target is to get into the world top 32. 81. Used to be a postman. Turn that in. To a pro darts player. But Joe Cullen's first dart. You know, a lot of them are going low, and that's a sign. A lot better darts, but still, Peter Wright got the advantage in this leg. He just needs to set this up, or even take it out. Well, he's done the former, hasn't he? He sent it up to some tune. Colin is dancing to Peter Wright's tune here. Got to find treble. 17, and he has now the ball to burgle a leg. 96. He requires 16. No mistake from Peter Wright. Peter Wright. This so in the air says it all. Reverse. One more leg Game with on. the throw. It's been a solid performance. Over 100 average from Peter Wright. The double's now up to 40%, and, and Joe Cullen has just not 60. done it. Joe Cullen clung on to Peter Wright in both the opening two sets. One they were both decided by three legs to two. But it looks like his resistance may finally be broken. One White one has one. been relentless. He's been averaging round about that 98, 99, 100, 101 all the way through. Yeah, the big one, as you know, Joe has just picked up the scraps from Peter Wright's mistakes. Joe is, you know, a far better player than this. Practiced a little bit of nerves. You know, to light this up in the old arm, and that's what does it. And the 140 there, but it's only six in the match. He needs 
to up that score and especially I mean to be fair to him this is a bad draw for Joe he could have you know, pulled 94. a lot more easier draws there's no easy but an easier draw for him and he's walked into Peter Wright one of the form horses of this year 99 well, no matter how good he is he won't be checking out 163 Leave a two darter now. 57. Johnny Ring was 76. Double eight then to stay afloat, to stay in the World Darts Championship. He's still in it. Joe Cullen, fair play. Full credit to him. Game on. It's a break of throw. So he's got a chance to level it up again on the set. And if he does. And ends up losing 14. the match he'll think all three sets he's lost 3-2 without playing that well that can either spur you on but it, you know you think Nine if only I could have just won one of those sets I'm in back in the game perhaps and get the motor running certainly Joe there's no oomph there Rodders you know I'd no. like to see a bit of fight 50 yeah, he had that 147 check out Joe Collin in the first set but in the end, that wasn't enough to win it. 60. Yeah, look at him. You're making a good point, Rob, because he's trying to G himself up and give himself some kind of oomph, as you so erudite put it. There's a bit of oomph. 140. It certainly gives him three level darts in front of Peter Wright. It's a good return from Peter Wright, though. So now Joe Cullen may get nine darts from 263. He's got to hit at least one treble with every three darts. And that's exceptional from him. Absolutely brilliant. Really has put him in command in this leg now as Cullen. And could we go to the decider in another set? Certainly looks like Rob, doesn't it? Should do from here. Trouble there would have left double eleven, but 89. Not exactly orthodox, but he's tied it up okay, and he's left tops. Well, this is for the match here. Treble 17 leaves double top. Oh, now then to finish with a fanfare and some fireworks. That's fireworks, all right, from Peter Wright. Peter Wright cleans it up with a 151 kill to progress through to the next round, to the second round of the World Darts Championship with an average of 99. Brilliant performance. Brilliantly clothed. Peter Wright is through. Coming up next, the world champion, Bill Taylor, is in town. And let's hear Bill Taylor's thoughts on his bid for a 17th world crown.